the garden is changing and we are designing this new part of the garden. The tea garden is coming together here. But aside from that, I am so excited about this new section of the garden. This morning, I was able to come on out and plant in the hibiscus. I purchased the hardy hibiscus from HSN in their gardening programs that they had in February. And the company is Leaf and Petal Designs. They came three bare root hibiscus divisions in the package. And they were shipped in the plastic bag and in the box. And I decided that I didn't want to delay in planting them out. Knowing that today it was going to rain later on in the day and all through the night, I thought it was a good idea to get my hibiscus bare root plants in the ground. I ordered hardy hibiscus, and that's what I'm going to add to the garden, hardy hibiscus. I'm excited about that, hardy hibiscus. Thank you for your order. And yes, they show you the three different Hibiscus um, hybrid summer in paradise. Summer in paradise. This one says, let's see, um, very awesome, very awesome. And this one says, um, ballet slippers, ballet slippers. So um, I'm going to let them go. Over in the new section where the tea garden is because it'll get plenty of sun and hopefully they'll grow and they'll show up and have beautiful, beautiful blooms like this. I have decided to put the hibiscus, this small one, at least in this pot here that I have and let it grow in this Pot. The other two I'm going to put in the in the ground. These two hibiscus. They're nice and big and healthy and I think they are ready to go directly into the ground. But this one is a little bit small still and I want to see how it will grow in the pot. This is called Hibiscus hybrid, hybridi, hybridae, very awesome, very awesome.
very awesome. So I'm going to just fill this up with dirt, uh, my miracle Grow um, soil. Soil I'm going to use my organic moist um, organic choice miracle Grow moisture control potting mix with compost and put that inside here in the pot with the plant. Now the instructions it says that when potting up this plant or this bare root it says planting instructions here it says dig a hole twice as deep and twice as wide as each bare root division place a mound of soil in the bottom of each hole carefully spreading the dormant bare roots over the mound cover the roots completely with one to two inches of soil firm the soil around the roots water thoroughly so i filled the pot with halfway filled with the potting soil from um, miracle Grow, the miracle Grow potting soil but i also used some of my own natural compost from my garden that i got too and i sprinkled a little bit of this in there too as well the shake and feed all-purpose plant food and so now i am going to take this and place it in here this is like to place it like on a mound so I'm creating like a mound here for it and then I'm going to just cover it with dirt with the soil so here is some of the garden soil in some of the good compost and garden soil around it here just so that it'll have a good chance of living and surviving sometimes the potting soil to me is a little um, I don't know it, it seems like it dries up quicker and it's supposed to really hold the moisture um, but it's it's it seems like it needs amending sometimes so that's why I'm adding uh, some of my own garden soil but also when this starts to uh, grow when the hibiscus plant starts to grow and has grown to a decent size I'm going to transplant it from this pot so I want it to be accustomed to some of the garden soil or the compost that's in the garden I'm going to fill it with dirt to this line here that seems to be a natural line where it was in the ground because it's a little lighter so I'm, I'm trying I'm not going to try and go past that line there little bit more of my own compost here on top so that should finish it off very well here and then now the water that I had it sitting in I'm going to just pour that water here just water it in well I know it's gonna seep through so I'm putting it, I'm kind of double layering it. Now that kind of looks kind of cute, huh? <laughs> double layering it like that so that it can retain the water. And so that's it. So I'm going to put it in the garden and watch it grow. I'm going to also put the label. What did I do with that label? Here it is. I'm going to make sure that I put the label here 
on it and they actually allow you to they have that hole there that you can just slip it through I'm gonna have to put the camera down but so that I'll know what it is because you always forget I always forget <laughs> what did I plant and you think you'd remember but you know I'll remember that it's the hibiscus, but this is the very awesome hibiscus. So I'm going to plant the two hibiscus plants here that I got from HSN. Right now there are two hydrangea plants. This is bridal bouquet, and this also is, I think, bridal, bridal bouquet or Nico Bloom. It hasn't flowered yet, but it does grow. So now that it's going to get plenty of light, it will do well. And these, of course, are daylilies. So I'm going to set up the camera as best I can. Um, it is early in the morning. So I've dug a hole and I've created a mound and I'm going to just rest this on top like that. First I'm going to put also some miracle Grow in the soil as well to just help it along. I'm backfilling it with some of the compost. I also put in the miracle Grow around the outer portion here. Now I'm going to just cover it in with the soil from around the plant. I'm going to kind of create a little well so that when I pour the water in, because I had it sitting in some water that I had put some fertilizer in. Um, and so the plant is, the root is well hydrated, but you always have to water in well. And I'm creating a little well here so that the water stays here versus um, moving in to another area. So that's that. And now I'm going to water it in with the water that it was sitting in. So it's very hydrated and saturated the area here and also it's going to rain today uh, starting at a um, couple of hours in a couple of hours that's why I'm really trying to hustle to put this in so now I'm going to work on the next one so I placed in the second one creating a little mound there for it now I'm going to I put in the uh, fertilizer. Now I'm going to backfill it 
with this good compost and then I'm going to use the soil that is around it here to fill it in. Just trying to make sure that there's not a lot of um, unnecessary things there. Nice little well for it. Backfill it here. Make sure the roots are covered. I have some extra fertilizer. I'm going to just fertilize these two hydrangea plants. So I really like how this is going to look. Um, the hibiscus is really going to do a good job here. And uh, right now I have some of this geranium here and the white amenities and some of the lemiatris that's here that was planted before. So I think I'm going to add some more of that around this area. This is what it ended up looking like here. And it's going to be a beautiful little corner. Here's one of the hibiscus right here. And then I just transplanted some of the bee balm from the front garden. I put in a sedum and these little bleeding heart plants that are just so sweet at this time of the year. The hydrangea bush is starting to leaf out which is good that means that we will have some flowers here this is another hydrangea bush that I started propagated and we shall see I don't think we'll have any flowers but it will be pretty and these are the daylilies so I think this corner of the garden is going to look really nice and there are other plants that I'm hoping to add to this, this corner. I want to get a rose bush. So when the knockout roses are in bloom for Mother's Day, I'm definitely going to get a couple of them and add to this front garden. It's raining. And this was the best time to be out here and putting them in the ground because they're getting watered from Mother Nature. For more videos, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time right here in Catherine's Garden. Bye.